Welcome to the Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. With me, I have Dovey and Janelle. And we're doing the third part of our series called We Were Created to Know God, to Love God, and to Serve God. So, this week is our third show, and we're going to talk about We Were Created to Serve God. So with that said, I'm going to turn it over to Janelle. Thank you. <laughs> so we are created to serve God. It's amazing that God, everything that he wants back from us, he puts in us. Oh, right? um, the first thing that popped into my head when you gave me to serve God was the Good Samaritan. Oh, yes. And I just want to read that scripture real quick. So it's in Luke chapter 10, verse 30. Um, to 35 and it says a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and he encountered robbers who stripped him of his clothes beat him and went their way leaving him half dead now by coincidence a priest was going down that road and when he saw him he passed by on the other side likewise a Levite also came down to the place and saw him and passed by on the other side but a Samaritan who was traveling came upon him and when he saw him he was deeply moved with compassion and went to him and bandaged, bandaged up his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. And he put him on his put him on his own pack animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. On the next day, he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper and said, take care of him. And whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I return. And that scripture came to me because we serve God with whatever we have, mm -hmm. wherever we are, whatever God has given you is what you use to serve him Amen. with. Using what you have, it's like being a good steward, being present where you are and giving your best. There isn't a special place that you have to be to serve God. So you can serve God at work by doing your best on your job. You can serve God um, at home, uh, taking care of your family or taking care of your husband or taking care of yourself because he's given us this temple um, to be here on this earth. Serving God, it makes me smile because you're able, it's not like you have to figure out right. what to use or figure right. out where to get it from. He's given you everything you need to serve him with. You can do it with your time. You can do it with your money. You can do it with your gift with your talent, whatever you have in your hand. It's, it is as simple as that. It's not mm -hmm. complicated. Right, there's exactly. no formula. There's no, um, you know, E equals MC squared. It's not, <laughs> it's, it's not that. It is just taking what he's given you mm -hmm. and giving it back to him in whatever way that is. If he's given you a voice to sing, when you sing unto the Lord, you're serving him. Amen. And the scripture says in everything you do, do it as unto the Lord and doing it unto him is serving him. I am smiling so hard because it is so simple mm -hmm. you know um being practical about my gift is writing mm -hmm. um so i write for other people mm -hmm. i create uh, things that other people can read mm -hmm. and hear about the lord right. and serve them right whatever you have and also using what you have to better someone else right. is serving god like the good samaritan used what he had to help someone else that was serving God now he may not have known he was serving God it says he was a mm -hmm. foreigner and he just saw someone who needed help mm -hmm. and he served them and Jesus said when I was hungry did you feed me when I was naked did you clothe me when I was in prison did you come see me those are all ways mm -hmm. that we can serve God feeding the hungry, yes. giving to the poor, mm. praying for the sick. Yes. Um, all of these things, which are good things, mm -hmm. and they're God things. So that is a simple way yeah. of how we can serve God. And at this time, we can take a break? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We will take a break. <laughs> <laughs> and we will be right back to talk about serving God. Welcome to the Daughters of Esther, Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. We come on every week, every Tuesday at 5 p.m. on Heart Ministry Network. And we talk about different topics every week. We talk about it, we conversate about it, but it's all spiritual, spiritually speaking. And with that said, 
I just want to leave you with a thought. Remember, if you do it God's way, you'll get a God result. God bless you. We hope to see you next week. Welcome back to the Ladies in Conversation, Spiritually Speaking. And we are on show number three. We were created to serve God. And I'm going to turn it back over to you now. So, beautiful yes. ladies. <laughs> of course, I have the obvious question. Okay. What is the way that you serve God? Or what's your favorite way to serve God? My favorite Ooh. way to serve God <laughs> is to um, tell people about God, but also to let them see God in me. Mm-hmm. You know, because so many people can tell you, well, you know, God is this and that and the other. But if you're not exemplifying who God yes. is, it's just words to them. Yes. It's just words to them. Like the Mm-hmm. Right. Do stuff like that, um, but you can't do that stuff if you don't. People don't see the love. Mm-hmm. They don't. You know, when, when you, I talk to you and I, I'm a little angry and all like this, you know, they're for me. You know, but you know, that's that's one thing that I like. Mm-hmm. Show them the love of God. Mm-hmm. Show them the love of God. Mm-hmm. 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 You know. It's Love people can, like, for instance, my job where I work, I meet people every single day. That's my job is to be the first face of people to come in. And you never know what day they've had. Yeah. When I've had so many people after they've left, you know, at, when they're leaving, they my day. And, and uh, one person said, why are you so nice? <laughs> I said, Jesus. And I was not afraid to say his name in the workplace. Mm -hmm. I said, Jesus. And they were like, what? Mm -hmm. I said, yeah. I said, what you see is not W. McDowell. What you see is Jesus Christ living in me. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I like to serve God. One of the ways is to let people see who he is. Yeah. Who he is, you know. So not just say it, but exemplify it. I try. I'm not perfect or anything else. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying every (laughs) single day I try try to be more like Christ every day. Do I fall short? Mm Yeah. But I pick myself up and say, Lord Jesus, let me go at it again. Mm -hmm. Help me to do what you want me to do. Say what you want me to say, Lord. Yeah. You know, because I can't give them, I can't give them salvation. Only Christ can. But they have to see it in us, Mm -hmm. you know, in order to to see that it's real. And this is not a goodness race. No. It's Mm -mm. just out of your relationship with God. That love comes out. Mm. Yes. That joy comes out. When you just, when you were just talking, we were talking about um, on last show, uh, when did we know God loved us? Right. Mm -hmm. When you think about that, Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it just produces this amazing it does. passion joy yes, and yes, just yes, loving yes. feeling yes. that people can sense exactly yeah. couldn't do it by herself mm-hmm. that's for sure right yeah hallelujah <laughs> so what about you woman that does everything <laughs> Serving the Lord. We probably could answer that for you, but go ahead. You for me. <laughs> well, really, I, uh, what do you say, my uh, love, what I love to do? Serving In serving God. God. Yeah, what's your oh, favorite thing? <laughs> oh, geez. It's so sorry. <laughs> what's your favorite way to serve um, God? I love to, uh, I love to preach the good news. Amen. I love to preach the word of God. And I love when God uses me in a way that the words that I preach are anointed. Mm-hmm. So it starts breaking your undoing burdens, liberating and setting people free right where they are, mm-hmm. getting them unstuck right yes. where they are. Amen. And uh, just allowing uh, the Holy Spirit as he's using my mouth to, to preach, preach, because preach brings deliverance. Uh-huh. And that's one of the areas that God called me to bring deliverance to his people. Yeah. Amen. His people, he said, specifically, I'm like, his people. You know, I'm thinking everybody should be delivered. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I know I wasn't. I just said, well, who's going to deliver me, Lord? Because I wasn't quite delivered when he told me he was going to use me to bring deliverance to his people. And a lot of it is through praying for people, ministering to people, counseling people. But I, I like to preach the good news to lots of people, masses of people. So, again, so that the Holy Spirit, the anointed word can start, again, just bringing people out of uh, a place where they're stuck mm-hmm. so that they can move on and come into the inheritance mm-hmm. that God has ordained they for their lives. Mm-hmm. So because when you preach the good news, you preach truth, it frees people. Yes. Because the truth sets you free. Yes. Amen. So 
among many other ways of serving God, that would be one of my favorite mm -hmm. or priorities. Man, that's good. I, um, where I work, I deal with people all the mm -hmm. time. And I serve God by serving people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Serving them in a way that um, leaves them feeling respected mm -hmm. and serving them with dignity. Um, I used to work in um, a population, an underserved population, mm -hmm. and we had a food pantry and we did human oh. service work. Mm -hmm. And I never wanted any of those people when they came in to receive services to feel like they were less than. Right. What to feel like Amen. because they were, had a need right. that, you know, they yeah. just were not on a certain level, right. so right. to speak. And so um, the model was to serve people with dignity and respect. Mm -hmm. And I realized that when we serve, where I serve people, mm -hmm. it's a way for me to serve God. Amen. Because the blood of Jesus has leveled the playing field. Absolutely. We're all equal Absolutely. in God's Amen. eyes. That's right. and there's no reason. Um, to serve one person better That's or right. more sincere than, That's right. than you serve not. another person. That's right. He so loved the world, he gave yeah. the world. It wasn't just the church. That's mm -hmm. right. His son to die for. The it world. was the world. The it world. was the world. Isn't that something? Yeah, yeah the, world. the world. I think the church forgets sometimes. Yes. It's the world. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you, know, because, you know, but that's about the <laughs> Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. it is. That's a whole nother yes, show, yes, right? That's a whole Oh, another <laughs> praise God. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, serving people because mm. Jesus served people when he was on the earth. Yes, he did. He yeah. Raising the dead, healing the sick. Yes, he out, did. Setting the captive feet, feeding the 5,000. Yes. Ministering and, and counseling and teaching and preaching. He's done it all. Yes, yes, he did. And each one of us has something that he gifted us to do. Yes. So because we're, 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 we're like, you said we're made in the word says as well, you know, we're made in mm -hmm. the image and the likeness mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. So each part, each one of us has a part in it. That's why I say every joint supplies. Yes. We have something to supply. Mm -hmm. Yes. That yes. God blessed and gave to us to minister, communicate to whomsoever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, what's really awesome too is um, mm -hmm. Jesus showed us how to speak. Yeah. Right. When he washed the disciples. Yes. Now, back then, they wore sandals, and it was dust and dirt and everything. Mm -hmm. And he took off their sandals. He didn't say, take your stuff off. Mm -hmm. No, he went to each one mm -hmm. and took them off mm -hmm. and washed their feet. Mm -hmm. He showed us how to serve. Yeah. Yeah. He showed us. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, with, with the serving, um, I feel like uh, the scripture says, if you desire to be the greatest. The greatest. Yeah. yeah. Be the greatest, right? You're yeah. the servant. And we can't forget right. that the way we serve God is serving people. Right? That's right. We're no longer, yep. they're no longer um, like keepers of the temple. Right. Where people have to go off for sacrifice. Right. 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 Priests have to live here. Right. So it's different. Our service mm -hmm. is among. His That's creation. right. Absolutely. And he's given us something like for you is preaching mm -hmm. the gospel. Mm -hmm. He's put that in you yeah. to give out right. to his people. Right. And it serves him at right. the same mm -hmm. time with W's love. I think some people have a greater expression of love right. than others. Some others, right. I'm working on it. <laughs> I hear you, sister. Right. That's why God connects certain people with certain people. I'm telling him, what's love? God. You're right. funny. <laughs> but he's given each yeah. of us something yeah. to serve yeah. in this earth and yes. serve him. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yep. Amen. Definitely. Got it. So uh, we want to thank you for being <laughs> with us. Um Come to us next week. We'll be with you next week. Come on, Pastor Mary. Help me out. <laughs> As you can see, she's the first time on the show here. With yes. Us. And I think she did a great job. I think oh, you you're awesome. Yes. 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 Well, the next time she'll be in, the next time she's on. But anyway, mm -hmm. praise God. Uh, just like Janelle said, you know, we're called to serve. We're called to serve God in these awesome ways that we can serve. And God has gifted us. He's gifted us and given us talents, abilities to serve him. And when we serve him, it draws people to him. So with that said, 